Joined by head coach Wade Wilson and Laura Hernandez from Texas Lutheran University. They just won the second game of the 2021 NCAA Division III Softball Championship in Salem, Virginia. Coach, open with comments from you about today's game, please. Uh, I thought we had, we got outplayed today. You know, I, I thought we got one in the first, and um, I figured I didn't know I, I didn't think that would hold up, uh, of course. And sure enough, it did. And then they had a two-run home run there in the third, I believe. Um, and then we, it kind of got away from us a little bit with, with Ashlyn. I don't think she was really good. And, and it's not so much that I don't think Ashlyn was re really good. I thought Tufts was really good. I thought they had a really good game plan. Uh, they attacked the middle of the field. They didn't do anything fancy. Um, you know, and so once we got down by uh, a couple runs, it kind of takes us out of our game. Um, you know, and then we got to the to the bottom of the seventh. And we were just trying to chase a base runner and, and trying to get somebody on base. And we did. And and clutch right here came through and had a big hit you know um and then we were able to still one there uh, a late one with becca becca was over going into that bat with a couple of strikeouts i believe so she's a good hitter and kelly found a way to get on base and uh, we had a pass ball there to get her to second and then uh casey had a great at bat to get her moved over to third and that allowed us uh becca to get the game winning hit there in the bottom of the seven so uh, i thought tufts played really well today though so let's go like right to clutch there next to you. Coach calls your name, Laura or calls your number, I should say, Laura, and you go in there. What was the plan? And then talk to me about the result. Okay. Well, the plan was we were going to take until we get a strike. Um, came up with first pitch strike, I believe, is what she threw me. Um, then just went into battle, started praying a lot. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't tell you how many Hail Marys I said up there, but I felt that foul ball the first time. And I was like, all right, this is going to be a good one. I actually uh, switched bats going into my at bat. Um, the first one I to grab was a 34 drop date. And I thought to my head, well, this one I might just straight pop up. Went back and some of them saw me go second thought, went back and grabbed the drop nine. I'm like, all right, I fly a line drive over the fence with this one. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, well done on that one. We'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Tim, do you have a question for Coach and Laura? I uh, sure, uh, Laura. It's your second uh, consecutive game. You had the walk-off hit against Emory and Henry in the regional. What is your mindset when you get up there and coach calls your name to as a pinch hitter? Um, well, let's see. The first time I hit a walk-off, honestly, had no clue what was going on. I <laughs> texted him after he told me good job, and I was like, "I'm glad you have a lot of faith in me." Um, I get so very like my at bats are limited, so when I go up there, I want to make sure I, I get the opportunity I can and try and do the best I can with them. So I go up there with a good mindset and hunt. And thankfully I have a good coaching staff and they help me. They make me feel prepared when I go in. So, yeah. You transferred to this team in the middle of the year, in the middle of a pandemic. What has this ride been like for you? Oh man, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a lot to learn coach. <laughs> me and coach, oh man, it's a lot. Um, but I do not regret it one bit. I love this team with all my heart. I love coach um it's unbelievable where i've the opportunities that have opened up for me and now i'm here <laughs> it's crazy coach just talk a little bit about it here as we kind of wrap up you, you get one all-american on base and you have another all-american driver in just talk a little bit about the confidence you have in the top of the order there well generally quite a bit uh today not so much you know <laughs> um I just don't, we didn't, we, we, we had a few doubles there. Um, and, and luckily uh, we were able to score Kelly from first base the scholars double in the first inning. But other than that, we didn't do a very good job offensively. Uh, we had some big hits late when we needed it, but you know, Kelly found a wall. I think that ball kind of took a funny hop on their shortstop and got by her. Um, and then we were able to get her to second on the pass ball. And then Casey had a great at bat because she didn't have a very good day either. And just was able to pull the ball to get her to third. I, I, and possibly Kelly scores on that base hit from second. Anyhow, she's pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, it's um, they found a way today at the end of the game to to win an inning, and, and that's the difference. Um, I'm proud of our kids because they didn't give up, they didn't quit, and and Sydney will let pitch her tail end off. Uh, she came in and, and threw three and a third, I believe, and gave up two hits and kept us where we needed to where we needed to be. So uh, without that performance, we don't have a chance. Uh, so I'm excited. I think it's. Uh, Maybe this get, kind of gets us going a little bit, and um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see where, where, it, where we end up. Well, we're looking forward to seeing with you. Congratulations on winning the first game here, and good luck for more victories here in Salem. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.